Hi, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Podiatry Center for Regenerative Medicine. And I'm here to give you a little bit more background about uh, regenerative medicine and actually locate different areas on your foot and ankle where you could be having symptoms that might uh, where it might be useful to consider the treatment of regenerative medicine. So first of all, a little background on regenerative medicine. We've been using it for quite a long time. And the basic concept is mothers that go full term, uh, they donate the placenta and some of the layers, a couple layers of the placenta are then processed in the lab and the FDA approves this. It's very safe. Uh, we've not seen any bad side effects and and uh, there have not been any bad side effects noted uh, or reported. And uh, and so what this basically does when this uh, amniotic product is uh, put into the area that needs to be repaired, it's actually uh, stimulating your body's stem cells to help repair. It's almost like turbocharging it, like maybe 100 times more healing power than you normally would have. And that's basically the concept. So it really speeds up healing and can be very effective with very little layup oftentimes when we when you go through this process. So I'm going to give you a little tour around the foot and ankle and just point out some areas uh, where you may be having some aches and, pain, aches and pains where this could be useful. Uh, first of all, we use this quite a bit on the on the bottom of the foot and the heel. Uh, this location right here in the bottom uh, is where a, a people get plantar fasciitis. It's very common. It's probably the most common complaint that, that we see. And uh, symptoms of that will be when you first step down in the morning, oftentimes it's very hard to walk. Uh, after, after a while, the foot kind of gets warmed up and then the pain there will kind of dissipate, but it's very common. First steps in the morning can hurt quite a bit here. Uh, the fascia runs from the ball of the foot to the heel. It's kind of a tight connected tissue and it can get very irritated here and start to degenerate. Uh, another area would be on the back of your heel. Uh, this is where the Achilles tendon attaches and a lot of times when this starts to bother you, you'll start noticing uh, any kind of shoe that contacts the tendon back there, you can just press on it and it's quite a bit, quite, quite uh, painful and sometimes it'll get a little bit swollen. So we can use it back in this area also. Uh, and you could just simply have uh, chronic Achilles tendonitis or you may get some very small little tears back here. Again, the amnio product can help repair those. Um, as we look uh, over here, let's look at this foot on this side. On the inner part of this foot is a tendon and it's called the posterior tibial tendon. It's an, a stirrup type tendon. It helps stabilize your foot from moving side to side and very common for this to get overused. Especially as we get older, uh, it can start to have small tears and have tendonitis. So again, running along in this area is the posterior tibial tendon. On the opposite side of the foot, are our two stirrup tendons, I call them, over here. They, they have the name of the perineal tendons, two of them, uh, but they generally are in this region. And so if you start having a little bit of swelling or pain in this area, again, uh, regenerative medicine can be used there. People that sprain ankles sometimes tend to injure those tendons at times. So again, swelling, pain, uh, anytime you, with either this tendon over here or these over here, when you're walking on your regular terrain, they're being used more to stabilize your foot and you might notice that you're, you'll get more pain after a day of maybe hiking over irregular terrain uh, in those areas. And then lastly, I want to talk about arthritic joints. Uh, you can start to get arthritis in the ankle joint. So that's obviously that's up here. And again, with arthritic conditions, you'll wake up, maybe feel kind of tight or stiff in the ankle. Uh, maybe going up and down stairs can be a little bit more uncomfortable. Uh, in the midfoot area right here, uh, there are these long bones called the metatarsals that uh, then articulate with these other bones in the midfoot called tarsal bones. And there are joints in this area that tend to wear down, especially as you get older. So the symptoms here again will be kind of a stiff feeling when you first wake up in the morning, you walk and it just feels like a deep, dull, stiff type of pain. Uh, and if you roll up on the ball of your foot, uh, those joints will start to hurt more if, if you have uh, early stage arthritis. And then finally, the big toe. Uh, same thing, deep, dull pain. And when this joint gets arthritic, sometimes you'll see you've got a little bit of a knuckle on the top, almost like a spur develops on the top of the joint. And you might notice a little bit of tightness. This joint's very 
limber, but some people have very limited motion in that area. And again, that's a sign of an arthritic great toe joint. So uh, again, I must stress what we're so excited about with uh, regenerative medicine is you, you can get back to activity, uh, activity so much quicker with this, very safe. And in many cases, you can actually eliminate the need for surgery. So uh, it's something that I really hope that you learn more about uh, regenerative medicine. I encourage you to visit our website at uh, andersonpodiatrycenter.com or please give us a call. We'd, we'd like to meet you and, and teach you a little bit more about this. And, and uh, hopefully you've learned something from this that can be valuable uh, in terms of evaluating some of your uh, aches and pains that you have. So thank you.